there has only been one other movie title in the drama sport movie genre that has featured a female-led cast in a mixed martial arts film or combat sports film, which is Million Dollar Baby. As a result, Excelsius is actually on pace to make history by being the first movie title in the genre to feature a female-led cast in a mixed martial arts film. The, the fight films do extremely well. Uh, they've shown that they draw, they draw a lot of people to, to the box office. They, they generate tons of money, like we're talking right now, $3 billion is not small, it's huge, it's humongous. When we first started to package Excelsius and we started pitching the idea, the thing I heard over and over and over again is that a female-led title can't sell. Women don't sell. Even with the rise of um, women's mixed martial arts, there was still a lot of resistance. Uh, I heard a lot, it's a fluke, it's a fad, it's not really going to last. And so the mindset out there has really been, from a business perspective, and I wouldn't necessarily say it's gender racism, that there's zero confidence that women, whether they're a, a named talent or unnamed talent, could deliver a title like this in the box office and have it win. This whole scenario out there reminds me of a fight that I attended to many years ago, going back 1994. George Foreman versus Michael Moore. You had George Foreman was a 46-year-old fighter and you had a, a prime 26-year-old Michael Moore. At the time, he was 32-0 and in knockouts. He had an amazing, amazing career up to that point. I was uh, in, the, in the gaming industry at the time. My clients had a lot of money on the fights. These people made hundreds of thousands of dollar bets and they had all their money on Michael Moore. And uh, George Foreman was the underdog. We're sitting there watching the fight and every round belonged to Michael Moore. Probably the first five seconds of the 10th round, the game changed. George Foreman turned around, came up with his left, and just nicked his chin. After he nicked his chin, he came back with the right, knocked him once, knocked him twice, he was down. All the people around me, their jaws all dropped because they just lost all the money on that fight. Very, 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 very few people cashing tickets. And these were all people that basically, you know, bet underdogs. are probably one of the very, very few people in the world, uh, besides, of course, the, the big fran franchise like Star Wars or you know, these kind of guys. You got already so many uh, uh, followers on, on, uh, on social media about a movie that is not made yet. It just tells uh, how people are inspired by the story of the movie itself. When I saw that Excelsius had so much support, it made me really excited. I think people are ready to see women in these strong female roles. I was really excited to see that Excelsius has gained so much popularity and we haven't even gone to camera yet. It shows me that times are changing, which we, I think globally we felt but to actually see that in numbers is a really exciting thing because it, it almost sets the tone for the message you want to have within the film when you go to camera. You think about the audience members, you think about the global impact that it will have. And it's a really, really exciting idea to be part of a team that is doing that and to be given that opportunity. Any artist wants to see a project that they support and believe in 
um, garner a lot of interest and support. And I think it's great that people are responding to the message that's here. And I think that it's time for another film like this with a female-led cast to do really well. And regardless of the fact that it's led by women, it has a great message in it, a message of believing in yourself and fighting for what you know is right and fighting for what you know you're capable of. You know, I think about Van Damme. You know, I'm like old school, right? You have and the, and Van Damme and Bloodsport. You always think about the guy. But like you said, with Ronda Rousey, and she just brought so much to the sport. I actually didn't pay attention to the MMA until Ronda Rousey. And, you know, her challenging Floyd Mayweather, her getting into that trap with, um, what's her name, Muhammad Ali's daughter, Layla Ali, who I've interviewed, by the way. Layla Ali said, look, there's not a woman on the planet that can beat me. So, Honda, you know what I mean? So, this is, like, huge what you're doing. This is huge. A win for Excelsius could change everything. Like in the movie, the character Cassidy Jones, she ultimately finds herself in this fight. And what she comes to realize is that it's not just another fight. She's in the fight for everything. Excelsius is basically in a situation where it's mimicking art. In real life, the movie title isn't a fight for everything because a win for Excelsius doesn't necessarily just revolutionize an entire genre. It could change an industry because a win could, could very well collapse a lot of stagnant mindsets. It would mean that the world is ready for something new. It's ready for this next step, that all this talk and buzz that we've been seeing in the industry is actually a real thing. A win for Excelsis means a win for everyone, in my eyes, because it's a win for the underdog. So. You can be an underdog as a female, as a male, as whoever you are. There are underdogs everywhere that are fighting. And we always side with the one who has the least amount of chances. So I think that a win for Excelsis shows that we're shifting. We're shifting out of this space where the one who holds all the power is the one who holds power over you. I think a win for Excelsius would crack the glass ceiling. At least I hope that it would. Uh, I think the world is ready for this. I love what you're doing. My point in sharing all this with you is I love what you're doing. I hope that this movie takes rock the world by storm because that's, that's what it's about. Rocking the world by storm with amazing things that you're doing and you're doing some amazing things and I just want to applaud you. So I'm not sure if what people are gonna see is what they think they're gonna see. I think it's gonna be even bigger than that. Something you guys have never seen before. It's not your classic underdog story. From my side, the most interesting part will be an antagonist, a female antagonist against a female protagonist and how that's played out. Because we've seen a lot of films, I won't mention which ones, that they incorporate a female cast, but you can still tell very much so that it's a male scriptwriter and their male ideas and the way they go toe to toe is very masculine. So it'll be very interesting to see how it works out to have these, you know, sort of femme fatale and a, you know, female Rocky going head to head and see how it transpires because we're definitely going to be bringing the female element to this and see how things change and how explosive it can be when both are standing in their feminine power and they are determined to win. I know a lot of people are going to say this kind of looks like a classic underdog story like David versus Goliath or maybe what we've seen in the first uh, Rocky movie per se. In my opinion this is more like a, a super fight. Wonder Woman versus Ares, which is like a David versus Goliath. It's somebody awakening in their power, a movement, a film, a group of people, a character, a spirit awakening within their power and challenging a force that has typically been greater than them. So, or being perceived as being greater than them. And when you come up against those forces, you realize why your greatest challenges are also your greatest miracles because they make you understand your own strength.